court. So you can't change what has already happened. So don't waste your time thinking about it. Move on. Let's go and get over it. So we, many of them we will be repenting and will be spending our life in what the decisions we, we had taken in the past. So don't repent. Don't waste your time. Move on. Go ahead and focus on the next goal to be accomplished. So before uh, we talk about the inspiring qualities of Karna, we'll, we'll try to understand who is Karna. So Karna is also known as the Vasusena, Angaraja and Radeya, is one of the major character of Hindu epic Mahabharata. He is the son of the sun god Suradeva and the princess Kunti, that is the mother of Pandavas, and thus a demigod of royal birth. So Kunti was granted the boon to bear a child with the desired divine qualities from the gods and without much knowledge, Kunti invoked the godson to confirm if it was true indeed. So Karna was secretly born to an unmarried Kunti in her teenage. Fearing outrage and backlash from the society over her premarital pregnancy, Kunti had no choice but to abandon the newly born Karna adrift in a basket on the Ganges in the hope that he finds foster parents. The basket discovered and Karna is adopted and raised by foster Sutta parents named Radha and Adhiratha Nandana of the uh, charioteer and the poet profession working for the king then Dhritarashtra. So, Karna grows up to be an accomplished warrior of extraordinary abilities, a gifted speaker and becomes a loyal friend of Duryodhana. He was appointed as the king of Anga, which is presently in the Bihar. So, Karna joined the Duryodhana side in the Kurukshetra war. So, he was a key warrior who aimed to kill third Pandava Arjuna but dies in the battle with him during the war. He is considered as a tragic hero in the Mahabharata in a manner similar to Aristotle's literary category of flawed good man. So he meets his biological mother late in the epic and then discovers that he is the older half-brother of those he is fighting against. Means he was the part of the Pandavas actually. So Karna actually is a symbol of someone who is rejected by those who should love him but do not given the circumstances and becomes a man of exceptional abilities, willing to give his love and life as a loyal friend. So, Karna character is developed in the epic to raise and discuss major emotional and dharma. Dharma means there is a duty, ethics and morality. So, his story has inspired many secondary works, poetry and dramatic plays in the Hindu arts tradition both in India and Southeast Asia. A religion tradition believes that Karna founded the city of Karnal, which is in the present uh, Haryana. So now we'll uh, discuss about the various qualities of Karna. When I say inspiring quality, I was going to speak about the good qualities, what the Karna used to possess. The first and foremost thing is generosity. Karna is famous for his generosity and this is also one of the most important character of Karna in Mahabharata. He is the son of Suradeva. Karna was born with an armor and golden earrings which protected him and made him unconquerable. So it means others cannot conquer him. Indra knew this and he disguised himself as a Brahmin and went to Karna and asked him to give his armor and earrings because you know there is a custom in India once in the morning any Kshatriya, any Brahmin comes to asking for any help Karna used to fulfill it. So Karna removed his armor from his body at once and gave it to Indra along with his ear rings. Being surprised at Karna's generosity Indra offered Karna his unbeatable weapon named Shakti. 
So generosity is the one of the best character of Karna. So another character, as you all know, charitability. Charity. So Karna never refused for any kind of donation or gift, no matter how costly it was. While Karna was on his deathbed, Surya and Lord Indra disguised themselves as a beggars and asked Karna for some charity. Karna said that he had nothing to give them at that moment. The beggars asked Karna to give him his golden tooth. And Karna immediately took a stone and ruptured his tooth and donated it to the beggars. That's one wonderful uh, character. That's Karna. Now we'll take up the morality. Yes, definitely, no, undoubtedly, the Karna was a man of morals. So, Sri Krishna asked Karna to leave Duryodhana and join Pandavas. He even offered Karna the entire kingdom as well as Draupadi. However, Karna still stuck to his values, never ditched Duryodhana for material profits. This incident proves that Karna was a man of values, a man of loyalty, which is one of the best character of the Karna in the Mahabharata. So, what is the next character then? Next canon, he was a very powerful. Definitely, he was a very powerful warrior and uh, is considered as one of the powerful characters among all the men in Mahabharata. He was stronger than Arjuna and even Arjuna could not vanquish him without the help. In the battle of Kurukshetra, Indra and Sri Krishna Paramatma helped Pandavas to execute Karna. Krishna became Arjuna's charioteer, whereas Indra snatched the armor from Karna to clear the path for Arjuna. So another uh, quality we can say with his being is powerful uh, in Mahabharata is that he was a great archer. Karna was actually a better archer than the Arjuna that is called as also Madhyama Pandava. So these are the great qualities and the introduction of the character of Karna. So if you like the video or the, the narration of the qualities of Karna, please do like, share and subscribe and encourage us to post more such videos of the various epics uh, of the uh, India. Thank you and have a very good day.